Hello and welcome again to the Round Ball. My name is Eldon. And my name is Joel. Today we're going to be talking about all the teams in the English League new kits. Some of them have, are not even released yet, but they've been leaked, and we're going to be taking a look at that. The Olympics are in full swing. This is why we're showing our colors to show our support. Let's go! Let's go! Alright, so let's move into our first set of clubs. We will be going into it in alphabetical order. And we also have some of the leaked kits and unreleased kits from, from Footy Headlines. And they are actually as reliable as the transfer king himself, Fabrizio Romano. So, yes, you said it right. <laughs> let's dive into it. The first kit that we're going to be looking at is Arsenal. Arsenal's home kit. What do you think, Elton? I think it's pretty good. I think it's a solid... I think it's a B. I think it's a yeah, B. What about you? I'd give it a B too. Because, you know, I, I think Arsenal, even though sometimes they don't do so well on pitch, I think they, they definitely perform in the kit section because every single year, Arsenal will definitely release the banger in, if it's not the home kit, the away kit of the kit. And somehow with their, you know, new partnership with Adidas, I, th I feel like this year, I mean, I preferred last year's kit, honestly. Uh, last year's home kit was a lot better in my opinion. But I feel like this kit is also... Really? Some people will I like, like it. this year's home kit is better. I think this year is definitely more cleaner. But last year's kit was definitely an A. A plus. 100%. Last year's home kit at least. Okay. Um, Arsenal away. Away kit. Mm, I think it's a little bit simple. Mm, I'm going to give it a B plus. I'm going to give it a B plus. It's a little bit simple, yeah. I guess... I, I guess B plus is around. I think it's good for a away kit. The colors. Yeah, I like, I like, the, I like how the badge is. Like oh yeah, badge. it is a good touch. The the, the cannon on the on, on as a badge is a good touch. It's a good touch. Yeah. And the and away our, kit. Our, our oh sorry, first, the third kit. Our first leak kit is the oh, Arsenal yeah. third kit. Uh, this kind of looks like the banana skin that we saw. Uh, was so it last season? It was last last season. Yeah, yeah, the season before the last season. Hmm. It kind of looks okay, I'd give it a uh, let's, B- minus for me. I actually really like it, I think it's their best kit of the entire, of the entire, you know. Really? The best? Yeah, I think it's their best kit. Okay, out of the three kits, I think this is the best kit. Okay, fair enough. I give it, yeah. I give it an A-, minus. I give it an A-. Minus. Okay, okay. A- minus, uh, for Joel and B- minus for me for Arsenal's third kit. Uh, this is uh, Villa's home kit. Um, kinda look, looks kind of like the same, so I, I, I think I'm going to give it a C. Yeah, I'll give I'll it give a C minus. It. The minus is because it's really boring. It's, wow. it's, it's, it's basically the same kit with sticker lines, bro. Same All kit with sticker lines. And uh, new boy, Brentford. Brentford. Brentford from Home London. Kit. Brentford from London, right? London. Yeah, from London. London. Uh, home and away, the way is the yellow kit. Um, I think. Start the think, home kit. I don't really like the sponsor. I don't feel like they. Mm, yeah, I agree. I agree. The sponsor is a bit off, but I feel like the home kit is good. It looks a bit like South. It looks a bit like a Southampton kit. I'm not gonna lie, but it's more like Sunderland. Oh yeah, this is Brentford till I die. Okay, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give the Brentford home a B minus. And Brentford away a B. I just give the Brentford home a B, and I'll give a B, and the Brentford away. I like the line on the sleeve; it's a good touch. I guess I give it a B plus. Brentford away. Okay. Um. Next, moving on to Sussex, where we have the Seagulls. We have Brighton. Brighton. Brighton, Brighton over now. I I feel like Brighton really good. I like their kit actually. Brighton. I really now, like Brighton's home kit. Brighton's home kit, I am giving it an A minus. Brighton home kit, I'm giving it an A. An A. I think it's a really, really good kit. It's one of my away, favorite home kits. Away so far. Kit, their away kit, I I'm going for an A minus as well. I like their away kit. Away it's kit. Their like away kit. I mean, it's okay for an away kit. It looks a little bit like it looks a bit minty. So I'll give it a B plus. Yeah, yeah. like you know that. Uh, is that the chocolate mint from Baskin Robbins? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's really nice. That's a really nice player from Baskin Robbins, to be fair. Uh, Burnley. Oh. Okay, Burnley's a C. Burnley's a C. I actually, I actually really like this Burnley kit because normally I don't. I, normally I think Burnley kits are really re- re- repetitive and boring. But I feel like this time, like the sleeves, like the color on the sleeves, I think it's really, really nice. I'll give it a B minus. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving it a C. Uh, next up we have Chelsea. Chelsea's home kit, which uh, they did, did, did they, didn't they use this kit at the end of the season? They did, they did, they, they used it. Yes, as yes. A, I think they won the Champions League in this kit, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. And I um, also, a lot of people, I don't know why, they, they don't like this kit. I neither do I, I don't like this. I don't like this. I actually really do, I feel like maybe if a fan wears it and like, it won't look nice, but I feel like on the players and especially on the pitch, it looks it looks really nice. It blends in really well with the badge as well, like the color scheme on the badge and the way the patterns get. You know, I mean, it's it's it. it I feel like they tried to experiment more this time, and I feel like I can give them props because last season was pretty boring. The Chelsea the Chelsea home kit. It yeah, was I'm just give pretty, it a B minus. I'm giving it a B minus. I'll give it a B plus because I think it's pretty good. Chelsea okay, away now. Chelsea away, bro. This is this is a C. This is a C minus. Bro, I this, is a, this is not it. This is a, for it. me. This is a. This is a E. This e. Bro, it's terrible. It's horrid. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know what they were going for. The lines and, and are And look too at sp- our next. Look at the next kid. Look at Silas. Silas. Silas's home kit. Uh, oh, sorry, away kit. Looks much better than Chelsea's away kit. Because, because I, away kit. Did, did, didn't Chelsea try to copy Palace last season? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. get this. Like, why are they trying to? So, 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 this time they tried to do it by themselves, and it looks horrible. So, I'm, so, I'm sorry, the Chelsea away kit looks terrible. Yeah, Palace, the Palace only, away uh, kit. A B, a B, solid B. I would say it's a B minus. It's pretty good, but it's pretty repetitive. I feel like I've seen it before, but it's good. It's a, it's a good kit. <laughs> And now we take a look at Everton's home kit. Everton's home kit um looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. I'm gonna give it an A minus. A minus is very generous for an Everton kit. The home kit yeah. for Everton. I feel like this is a little bit better than last season's kit. Not a big fan of last season's Everton's kit. I'd say a B, maybe it will grow on me, I'm not sure as the season progresses, but for now, I'll give it a B. Not it doesn't reach the A mark just yet. I'm not a fashion icon, but I'm just seeing what it compares to with the other kids. Okay, take a look at Everton's away kit. That might change your mind because for oh. me, that's an A. That is an A. Everton. This is one of my favorite home kits. Away. It's a it's a definite yeah, A. Yeah, away well. kit. That's not that's not a home kit. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is their favorite away kit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Away kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, I, okay. I agree with you. I think, I, think, I think it's an A as well. Yeah, yeah. Definitely banger. Banger. Um, we move on to Yorkshire where we look at Leeds. 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 Their home kit. Actually, you know what, yeah? I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to let you say. What, what, what do you think this is? B plus for me. B plus. Really? Yeah. Yeah, B plus. I think it's one of my favourite home kits. I think it's an A. No, you don't okay, think it's an A? Dog, fast, dog. Alright, okay. Well, you're right. I think you might have influenced me. I'll give it an A minus. Hey, hey, minus. If, I can, if, I can, if I can, if I can, if I can find this, I'm uh, de- de- definitely. This yeah, I would awesome. definitely want to cop that, bro. It's such yeah. a good kit. I like the collar. I like the collar, man. I really I like feel the like the sponsor kit. makes the kit. The sponsor makes the kit look really nice. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, and and kits this year with collar, they look really, really good. And then Most uh, of them. lead third kit, quite questionable. Um, um, purple, the color of royalty. I'm not sure about this kit. Maybe I'm sorry, Leeds. I love your home kit. It's, it's such a it, you you put me at such a hard position right now because I really don't really like this kit. I love the home kit though. I think it's a home D plus. I think it's a D plus. Nah, this C for me. For me, it's a C. Okay. Okay. Next, we have Leicester home. Leicester, Leicester home. home. It looks kind of like some blue camouflage going on, but I don't really like the sponsor. I'm going to give it a B minus. I like the sponsor last year. It's like Thailand Smiles with you. You know, Smiles. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was nice. 
Uh, I really like a lot of people don't really like this Leicester home kit, like yeah. the Chelsea one. I like it. I would say it's a B plus. Okay, looks re- um, looks really cool on the pitch. Leicester away looks quite similar to Brighton's it- away kit, but I feel Brighton pulled it off a bit better than whatever they have here. I'm I think no. I think this Leicester kit, like the color scheme, like it's similar to the Leeds, even though this is blue and purple, but the shade is similar. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. So I would say that the Leicester, oh, this third kit, right? Away kit, away kit. Away kit? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Now I'll give it a C. Interesting. Okay, next we'll go on to Liverpool home. What we think would be one of the title challenges for next season. We go on to Merseyside, we go to Liverpool. Liverpool away up. Uh, home, bro, home. Let me, just let me, man. Liverpool home kit. Um, B. B. I think it's a lot better than last season's home kit. It is, it is, no doubt, it is. Um, but I would say, I w- okay, I wouldn't say, yeah, I would agree with you, it's not an A. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think it's an A, I think it's a B plus. But I like the texture going on. Like yeah, 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 I really like the orange, the orange borders, and the sleeves, and, the, and, the, and this part, and the neck part. I think it looks really nice. It blends in really well. And uh, we, we, we go on to Liverpool's away kit. I have asked a few people about this. And a number of people have told me that this is one of, if not, their favorite kit of the season, the Liverpool away kit. This is an A plus. This is my first A plus. This is an A plus for me. So I think Liverpool away kit looks so nice. You know, you know, straight banger. But but do you know what make this kit even nicer? If they if the swap the standard started with Yeah. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. I just want to say that, bro. Bro, I, I think that would be super, but I really like Bro, this it's kit. Magic, anyway. it's magic, it's 100% magic. I agree with you. A plus. It's so, so nice. This a, kit. Plus, a plus. I would definitely buy this kit if I was I a have fan. no qualms buying this, honestly. Because the club I support have no beef with Liverpool, so I actually don't mind. I, I mean, I don't think anybody has beef with Liverpool. With this kit, okay, no, people do have beef with Liverpool. But. Nobody can have beef with this kid because this kid, even if you're the opposite or even if you're a United fan or something, you have to say this kid is so nice. This has texture. I think this, this looks like it has texture, like the. A little bit of texture, you know? The collar, I, I love the collar, bro. The collar makes it look really nice. And like the small touches of orange, bro, so good. Amazing. A plus, 100%. Okay, right, and then the they one? do well for their home kit, they do well for their away kit, and then they mess up with their third kit. Oh, right. bro. This, oh, this third kit looks... I mean, it's leaked, but I think it's gonna be the third kit. It looks horrendous. It just looks terrible. Yeah. It just looks it looks like someone vomited, and then on like and then just printed out the vomit. I don't understand. I don't understand what they were doing with this one. They're doing okay. so well with the home and away kit. I'm gonna and give it, this third kit a uh, C. B minus for me. This is my first, this is gonna be my first F, I'm so sorry. Again, I'm no fashion icon, but I'm just gonna compare this kit to the last kit, and I'm sorry, this kit is absolutely not it. It's not it, it's not it though, it's not it. I don't think it's it. And next is City, title holders. City. With your home kit. This home kit, kit home honestly kit. for me, I'm gonna give it a C. I'm gonna give it a C. I feel it's kinda dry. I like the 9320 up there. It's got an Aguero moment, but uh, yep. I think it's a D for me. I prefer last season's kit. Last season's home kit was really good, to be fair. It was like, like the class, everything. I feel like this time they went with a more simple approach. And yeah, I would say. Jo, Jo. Wait, quickly give a rating for this home. I would say it's a B minus. B minus. Take a look at City's away kit for next season. Where? Oh, wow. You see wow. that? You see that? Okay, that for me is an A minus. For me, it's an A minus as well. Same. I agree 100%. I love the white. The white makes it look really like sleek and sharp. The gradient. And classy. Like the shining, the yeah, bro. And the text and the fonts. Like, like the text for the sponsor and the badge. The colors, they match so well. Like the the big. It's like a blue, light blue, no, no, turquoise, no, no, no. purple, red. I, I would say mine, hundred percent. And now uh, moving on to the other side of Manchester, so Manchester United. 
Manchester United. Hmm. Why did they change their sponsor, bro? I like Chevrolet. Chevrolet, yeah. To be fair, they changed to Team Viewer. Uh, I actually didn't really know what Team Viewer was, and I was I was watching, I was watching F1 the other day, and I saw Team Viewer on oh, the yeah, Mercedes car. The Mercedes. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, oh, that's Team Viewer. So I mean, I don't I don't hate this one. So I think it will grow on me. This one, so I think it looks. For, but I feel like the kit's too plain. I really like the away uh, the home kit last week. I'll give it. A, I'm gonna give it a C plus. I, I like the long sleeves though. You look at you, you see the long sleeves on Rashford. I like how you see how like the white end and the the white bit at the end. I, oh, I yeah. like how it looks is like. Is it all? Retro. Is it all long sleeve? No, no, no. They're short sleeve. There's a oh. short sleeve version. It was all long. Like, like you see what Bisaka is wearing. He's wearing yeah. with the short sleeve. If if you know if it's all long sleeve, I'll give it a B. But if it's, it's if it's just short sleeve, I'll give it a C plus. C minus for me. All right, uh, Newcastle B. I will give it a. You know what? I'll give it a B. A B. Because Norwich. I like this. Normally Newcastle kits are terrible. Boring. Yeah. This one's pretty good. Change the sponsor. Uh, Norwich. In I'll, give it a, I'll give it a. I'll give it a C. I'll give it a C. Yeah. I'm giving it. I'm giving it a C plus. Because normally Norwich has, they produce really really good green. Normally what you get from Norwich is you get the green and you get the yellow. Simple. And they make it really nice, especially the. You remember the 2019-20s the kit, like the way the gradient did. So nice, bro. That was that was an A for me, but I feel like this one they feel they went for a more simple approach. So yeah. Southampton looks kind of plain to me. See, Southampton looks yeah. looks really similar, but I like the collar, the way not collar. I like the way that the the neckline goes down like this. So I would say it's a B minus. Southampton third away? kit. Oh, third oh, kit. Third kit. Yeah. Uh, looks like Southampton's away kit. Yep, it looks like it. So I would say a B, a B, because no, I, 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 I see like the texture on that got like looks like the motherboard. I'm giving oh, it. Wait, a what? Yo, I just realized. You know that the texture on the Southampton kit is football fields. It's what? Football fields. It is. Yeah, it's football fields. It's pitches. Whoa. Do you see it? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. I just realized that. And you said motherboard. Yeah, looks like motherboard. I think it's pretty good. Like now that I see it, I think it's a B plus. Please think. All right. Um. Next, we have. We are going to. Oh, we are going over to North London, yep. where we take a look at Spurs. Spurs kit. The home uh, kit. Home right? kit. Oh, bit boring. Yeah. Yeah, a bit boring. C plus for Nike for being plain. I, I I'd give it a C. It's a bit plain. I, honestly, last season's Tottenham kit was pretty good with like you know the 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 navy was it navy stripes. You didn't the... like last season's first kit. Last season's home kit. I said it was pretty good. Yeah. I didn't. It, it's not super good. Like I don't, I don't like this home kit at all now because it's so plain and boring. But this but is last... yeah. This is their centenary year, so it's like hundred years of the bat. They're going for like a retro kit. That's why I I expected them to you know have something better than this for their yeah you know I'll give story it a C. here. So I'll give White it a C. Shirt, blue shorts. Now they're away um, kit. And then they went all out with the away kit. Take a yeah. look at that. Take a bow. Very good e. That is an A plus. That I would say that's a very good A plus. I would say it's an A. It's one of my favorite away kits this year. That is an A plus. That is as good, as good kit. Liverpool away kit. It's not, no. I think the Liverpool away kit better. Still, still, because you can have. It's two different kits. This this kit people will like it because it's bombastic and it's out there. Liverpool kit yeah. will like it because it's sleek and classy and it looks really really neat. But both have their own different styles. And take a look at first third kit. This is the C. Again, right. again, same similar to the Liverpool situation. You have a, you have a decent home kit. I think Liverpool's a home bang kit. Over, a bang of a home a bang kit. A bang of an away kit and vomit for the third kit. Honestly, this, this is even worse horrid. than the. Oh, why is that purple? And why, why is it not? Why is it not like? Why is it? Why does it cut off at the bottom, right? And then the I, top. I, I, I don't understand. And you what's that? Like, it look good on the pitch. 
I, I don't know, I have to see it on the pitch first, but the sponsor just also, the sponsor doesn't really work for this kit because it looks, it just looks out of place on the kit. And the, the way the purple doesn't match up with that one just really doesn't really match. Up. I think this is, this is also an, another F, oh, F minus. Yeah, yeah. What about you? What would you, what would you give it? I give it a C minus. It's not good at all. Okay. Next, next one is uh, we have Watford, Watford home. Yep, sponsor looks like uh, like an adoption shelter. Home oh home. my I god! You can't do things like that. Oh wow! Uh, an adoption center, stake.com. What are they? What are they adopting? No, animal adoption centers. Oh, animal adoption center. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I, w- I wouldn't adopt an animal if it's called from stake.com. Oh, alright. Um, for me, for me, uh, C. I'll give it a C plus. It's pretty good, but not. It's decent, I would say. Okay, West Ham home. It's a C. It's a C. It's a C. It's a C, bro. It's boring. It's plain. It's just the same old West Ham game. It's just the claret with the blue sleeves, or it's either claret with blue collars. Or, or or blue stripes. Normally, blue normally blue I don't. Normally I would. Normally I would agree with you with the West Ham kits because normally they are boring. They are the same and every time. I feel like this time they gone for something really interesting because the umbro looks really nice as a sponsor. The collar looks really really nice with the with the claret and then the blue looks super nice with the half and the the, the collar looks really nice as well. It looks really sleek. And I, so, I so what are you getting on? What are you getting at here? I'll give so it a. You're giving this an a. I'm giving it an A. It actually Bro. looks pretty good. I'm telling you, it looks you're pretty joking. good. You're joking. What's that? That's a C. That's a C. No way. Wait, wait. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. The no, badge no looks chance. really good. This will look really good in the Europa League. Are they in the Europa League? Are they? No, they didn't know they're not. Didn't they finish high then? Did they finish high then? Oh, Tottenham and Arsenal? In the Europa League. Oh, they have to play the playoffs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a playoff, so. Look, yeah. I saw them. I, yeah, I saw West Ham. I saw West Ham play a friendly against uh, Celtic. And I really, really do think the West Ham can look super nice. On the pitch, okay. at least. I'll give it an A. Giving you an A. I don't know how you're giving that an A. That's a C for me. But uh, <laughs> take a look at West Ham away. West okay. Ham away for me is a B minus. It's a. I don't really like this as much. Again, I think I it's feel pretty. It's the same West Ham, typical West Ham. No, I think it's. I'll give it for a B plus. B-. I feel like West Ham's kids B-? like this year. I haven't seen the third kid, but looks, West Ham's kids are not bad this year. B okay, plus for the away. Take a look at Wolves' home kit. Boring for me, C. A C for mm, me, solid C. Home kit, I don't really like it because I don't like the part where the you know the black parts they don't connect. I feel like if they connected or something, it look pretty good. Oh, but I don't know, I'll give it a C. I'll give it a C. It just looks like a normal wolves kit, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to smash the notification bell to keep in touch with our latest videos. And do comment down below on who you think has the best kids for the upcoming season. And which of the new newer kids that haven't been released do you want to see? And also, we are all, all here in Malaysia supporting the Olympic team. Go Malaysia, bring back the gold. I've been Joel. I've been Eldon. And we are the Round Balls.